Mario Geis, M from Unsealed 4x4, and today we're going to go four-wheel driving in a 2019 Suzuki Jimny. I love this thing! The 2019 Suzuki Jimny is powered by a 1.5-litre motor with a part-time four-wheel drive system. It's got four cylinders, 16 valves, so it's just enough power to get the Jimny moving. In the engine bay, there's not much room for a second battery, so it'll be interesting to see what the aftermarket come up with in terms of mounting an auxiliary battery. There's also no gas struts, which is a bit of a shame, but hey, I guess it saves you money and it saves a little bit of weight. The Jimny is one of the easiest vehicles out there to service, with an oil filter that's easy to access, as well as a sun plug right where you want it. The manual gearbox is a five speed, and the automatic is a four speed. In terms of braking, we've got solid discs up front and drums in the rear. And with suspension, there's a three-link rigid axle in the front with coil springs and the same setup in the back. Stock tyres are a 195 by 80 on a 15-inch rim, which means you could upgrade to a 29-inch tyre legally. The headlights are standard on the 2019 Jimny are an LED, and they work really well on and off-road, including the washer, which is a little bit enthusiastic. One thing I was really excited to see was the dash cluster. Now, if you've ever driven an old Sierra, you'll recognise this straight away. It's safe to say we're all very excited to see an actual four-wheel drive lever mounted to the transfer case instead of a series of actuators and dials on the dash. But Suzuki have missed the point here by not including a neutral mode. How are you supposed to flat tow this thing behind a motorhome, which you'd have to think would be a decent sized market for Suzuki. Another point we're really excited to see were roof gutters. They only rated to 30 kilograms, which is exactly the same as the previous model Jimny. If you were to put a big heavy load or a big roof rack, you're kind of over the limit already. Well, the elephant in the room with the 2019 Suzuki Jimny is pricing and the variants we've seen state by state and even each dealer, with some quotes ranging from mid-20s to low $30,000. It's also disappointing to see a lack of supply. There aren't that many units for sale. There's well under 1,500 available this year and most have already sold. The 2019 Jimny scored a three-star ANCAP rating, which is not great. But when you consider the JL Wrangler only had one star, it's really not too bad an effort for a vehicle that costs half the price and weighs nearly half as well. We're inside the 2019 Jimny, and as you can see, it's got a fair bit of headroom. It's actually quite, quite roomy inside, not so much this way. I find myself driving with my hand on the seat because there is just not much space between, but it's pretty comfortable and there's more than enough room for someone that's quite tall, I'm about 6'2", so not the shortest person, and I fit really well. There's not a lot of storage space in here. You've got a very small glove box, very limited space for anything other than your phone. You've got two cup holders which sit behind you, which is a really awkward sort of place for it. And in terms of storage, that's really about it. You've got a little parcel shelf in the back which keeps the floor flat. Again, you're not going to fit much in there at all. So it's certainly not something you can load up with accessories. You're going to have to be quite clever with the way you pack. In terms of features, everything's quite simple here. You've got Two little buttons here for opening the windows, traction control off, and a hill descent control button. You've got a really good navigation and entertainment system here. It's quite clear and it looks really good. It actually suits the part. Doesn't look like an afterthought. And I'm gonna say this over and over again. It is what it is. You don't want all the frills. This is bare bones, but it works. All right, so we're gonna see just how easy or hard it is to get into the back seats if you're an adult with lanky legs like me. Gonna lift this lever, slide the seat forward. There's no handle to grab onto, you can grab onto the seat belt. Well, there you go, it's not that hard at all. I've still got a bit of headroom, got a handle to hold onto. What more do you need in life? Well, getting in wasn't too bad. Let's see how it is getting out. All right, that's pretty awkward. That's not great. Okay, <laughs> so getting out is certainly not as uh, easy as getting in the vehicle, but it's still doable. We're sitting on the highway now, we're doing 110 k's an hour in fifth gear and this is a question we had on Facebook, what, uh, what's it like on the highway? It's, it's pretty good, it's not too loud, a bit of gear noise but it's to be expected for a small car and it's doing just under 3,500 RPM at 110 k's an hour. So it's not really screaming its head off, it feels really happy at about 4,000 RPM. So it's, it's actually quite good, it's not too bad. I would, I would drive this from Sydney to Queensland, not a problem. It's definitely an improvement over the previous model. So one thing with this new Jimny is it's much softer than the previous model, and as such has a bit of body roll. So we're just gonna show you how much she rolls around corners. You can pretty much touch the side of the road with your hand if you wanted to. 
So it is a four wheel drive and to be honest, I'll take that soft ride, but I think I'd probably be investing in some aftermarket suspension if I was looking at this vehicle for myself. We headed out to the tracks to put the Jimny through its paces. As you all know, the Suzuki Jimny has solid axles front and rear, which means probably not as good on-road dynamics, but a decent amount of suspension travel off-road. Now, this is the limit, absolute limit, and I can show you why it's the limit. So it's got a decent amount of flex, not the best, not the worst, but it's also got a decent traction control system, which we're gonna show you next. Now we're coming to a really cool little climb in uh, the back of Lisco. We're straight into it. We're gonna be lifting wheels in just a second. Whoa, there he goes. It's a bit of fun. So, so far it's going really well. You've got to keep the revs up a little bit, being such a small motor. It's obviously not the deepest gearing, so you've got to drive it like a stolas sort of, it's just a hoot. So I stopped on this hill, I'm in neutral. Take my foot off the brake. And the car stays for three or four seconds. That's a pretty handy little feature for off-roading and on-road, especially if you're learning how to drive manual, which let's be honest, most people are gonna buy the manual gym. It also has anti-stall, and it doesn't really work. I'm just gonna ease off the clutch. It wants to move, it's moving. All right, it's going all right. And it's stalled. So, that's a bit of a fail, but we are on a really steep gradient, and it is very rocky. So let's go for a drive and see how the traction control works. Because again, the previous model didn't have the best traction control. But so far, the 2019 Jimny seems to be a big improvement in that department. Still not perfect, but then again, if it was you know Range Rover good, you'd probably flip because it's a short wheelbase vehicle. So you need to have some limitations somewhere. But it's really in its element in this sort of terrain. Rocky steep, slippery, feels like it could just bounce all the way up the top, which it's doing. Lifting wheels, this is proper four wheel driving. Well we found the limitations of the little Jimny. Um, we put it up this track, I've driven this before in a Land Cruiser 200 series, a Discovery, a Y62, a Toyota Fortuna, and it's just a short wheelbase of this thing, it's making it sketchy. I know it's supposed to be a bit sketchy, but uh, this track's in shocking condition. Um, we're going to have another little crack just to see if we can try it, but... Nah. She's had enough. It's trying its best, but stock tyres, it's just not going to do it. So we found the limitations. All right, so we've come and do a decent little descent and thought we'd give the hill descent control a bit of a test. And there it is. It's always a bit ugly sounding. This is slowing us down to about, I believe, six kilometres an hour, same five, which really isn't slow enough. It's going much too fast. So it's good to see that the feature's been included. I think it would be a little bit, a little bit better for off-road situations if it was reduced your speed to a, say two or three kilometers per hour. Now let's try it with it off. So that's no hill descent control. Yeah, it's picking up more speed certainly. So it does do something. But again, it would be just a nice touch if it was a tad slower. Interestingly enough, Suzuki doesn't specify a wading depth, but the air intake is located nice and high and we certainly had no problems with this river crossing. Well, we've had the 2019 Jimny for a week now. We've taken it off-road, we've taken it on the highway, we've taken it around town, and we've drawn a pretty solid conclusion. It's a winner. It's a great car, if it suits your needs. You can't try and make this vehicle something it's not. It's not a patrol, it's not a land cruiser, it's a small vehicle. It's got a payload of 360 kilos. You go start putting bull bars and roof racks and all that sort of gear on it, you've probably bought the wrong car. I'm not telling you not to accessorize it, but just be aware of its limitations. If you want something you can drive to work during the week, take to the beach on the weekend, 
put a little lift kit in, maybe a little bit bigger tyre and all-terrain, you're going to have a great time. You can drive it on-road, you can take it off-road, take it camping, it'll fit your brief. It'll also make a wonderful second vehicle, I think. I certainly won't be selling my Hilux, but I could see having a Hilux and one of these in my backyard absolutely in my future. They've done a wonderful job of keeping the heritage of the previous Suzuki four-wheel drives, but modernising it at the same time. It's an absolutely brilliant little vehicle, but it is what it is. Thank <laughs> you.